These are the Haas Sport upgraded motor mounts for the 10th Gen Accord. Today I'm going to install it on my 22 Accord Sport. The tools you'll need are a flathead, Phillips head. Uh, we might need a crowbar just in case it's a little tough to get it out. 14 millimeter socket. Today we'll be using an impact gun, but if you don't have one, any ratchet will work. To start off, you're going to want to get the car in the air. If you don't have access to a lift like we do, uh, you can use jacks and jack stands. Next, you're going to want to take the undershroud off uh, just to get a little bit easier access to everything. Twist, screws, and a couple bolts in the back, and it'll come right out. After you get the screws and clips out, you just want to slide it back, and it'll fall right out of place. Um, and instead of using the big gun like we talked about, we're going to use the ratchet on this one just because it's tighter space and easier to do the ratchet and we'll do the impact on the other two. So let's go ahead and break it loose. There we go. You can tell this is going to be a world of difference um, from the factory one being that there's space in the bushing here. The whole thing's made of plastic, whereas this is billet aluminum and a solid bushing. It's basically a reverse process of taking the factory one out, so just slide it in. Whenever you're putting the bolts back in, just go ahead and do it start by hand, that way you don't cross thread anything. And once you get it up in there, then you can really torque it down. Tighten in these, you're going to want to tighten them to the factory torque specs. Or just so you're good. Now that you've got the lower motor mount in, um, just reverse the process, put the undershot back on, drop it to the ground, you're good to go. Alright, now that the bottom one's done, let's move to the upper torque mount. Huh. Here's the upper torque mount. It's just these two bolts. Uh, we may have to take the two off this little bracket here. Uh, I'm going to try to do the two by itself and see how it goes. Alright, since the mount didn't slide out on its own, we're gonna need to loosen up this bracket. So I'm just gonna take the two screw two bolts out. There we go. Seven bolts later, under shroud, you're done. That's all there is to it. No more wheel hop. So we'll be good to go.